Okay, family, I want to do well. Um, me, now the presenter of the channel, then and now, um, Media News Empire. We say I'm with um, confidence, and we equally say I'm say we are not yet an empire, but that's what we aspire to be, and we are on the march. So this evening, the 9th of February, 2019, me now on a host and presenter, Prince Emil Koma, coming to you live. Um, Fambulana, just a quick talk about one or two things in the way they go on. We know all go well at all for we country. I say this because some of the media reports they moved on the year some of the media reports the way we don't they see. It really, really, they beyond belief that despite the gains that we don't make, now we young democracy from a civil war, we rampage and tear down the country for over a decade. Tete will defend peace. We try to consolidate the peace. We day on um, um, society building. Okay, and um, yet we get some things that are the fringes of a society where they unbog or we seem for one unbog the gains then we don't make. We don't hold elections. Um, I believe say this is not the fourth one since the end of the war. I stand to be corrected on that. But this is not big, not big, big gain in terms of the democracy what we did talk about. Okay. War finished, despite the suffering, the anguish, the vexation of many, many of the people, them, the frustration as to waiting happened. Yet we decided that as a people, we need to forge ahead. But where we forge ahead, we need the respect, we need the help of we other institutions, them, not the country. But at as this point, the point behind this um, clip, this um, broadcast. Now, actually, because despite waiting the people in wish, there are many shortcomings, many shortcomings, especially on things the way you go hope for, because you get the private and you get the public. A fine for let we distinguish that, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, really, really fine for love distinguish that. Because you can then at the private domain, you are okay, you are well to do, you carry on with your life and things they happen for you. But we society who we come out, the many are those that are suffering. And the only thing where the many can count on now waiting the services them of the government go get for provide. Because remember I say government now the largest employer of people now we continue so we come out. And for let this they continue, we need for establish a safe zone, a sort of um, atmosphere where conducive for let we people and where they operate on a daily basis because it's clear. And I believe that we all know this, that we as a people, we are an everyday people, a struggling country where they try to develop. Okay? We not get plastic. I can always call them plastic. Some of the people that where they watch this broadcast will know when I say plastic, when they talk about those of us within the diaspora, you get your plastic card, you can able to sustain yourself for a week, a month, even six months, then get people that wish strong to that capacity. Day. But unfortunately for the country, Sierra Leone, and many other countries them around the region, we now everyday people, now the terminology that they working like for use, everyday people. What do I mean by everyday people? Everyday people are the people that where they go sleep, they not get tomorrow in your but then they depend on God, they pray to God, they let door clean and they open their eyes. As long as they get the strength for grab, wake up, get on their feet, then go able for turn around and get that day they going. But the bottom line is, when the man go sleep, hardly does he or she has tomorrow. Tomorrow go bring you on. There are many parables around that nature day. So the point where they try to speak to is some of the things the way they try to distract we or derail the process we don't engage in for the last almost 20 years, if not 20 years plus. We consolidate with peace. 
Of course, it's not fully consolidated, but we don't try. The issue I want to talk about, ladies and gentlemen, is that of the police, the National Police Force of the Republic of Sierra Leone. It's supposed to be a noble institution, and a noble institution it is. Because the principles that we enshrine, now the body works them. They don't get constitution of their own, but then get, you want to call them agreements, you want to call them principles, you want to call them aims, you want to call them objectives. Above all, it's an institution of the state. We represent the masses of people, in other words, seven point some more million people. Where even if you don't get um, one cent, if you don't get gari for eat, if you don't get water for drink, you expect, say, when you come to law and justice, justice and peace, you get some side who you can turn for attain that. But for a while now, this has not been the case. And this is what is bothering or has come to bother some of us, if not the vast majority. In fact, I will speak for the vast majority. Because now the people them are no more way this they work for. Now then go ten for one subscribe to such things then way we for they really really cry down. What is the police? The police now a national body we need for attend to the needs of the people them, protect the peace, okay, and carry out um, orders that are given to them within a legal a lawful frame. See how that the orders the way they carry out is legal and lawful. A day within the limit of the constitution, the law. But we police don't become um, something else. Are almost you, you know you find it difficult for mention the word, but it's almost something like a militia, not the entire police by the way. It's just some wing of the police. And I say this before people and begin for think otherwise. Why? You know the reason why every time there is a change of government, okay? This is not the simple reason why there's a change of government. The police suffers a backlash. This is not the exact reason why. There are many more other reasons, but the most significant of them all is because the police, an arm of the police, tend for either take sides or allow itself for be coerced or simply misled into representing something which is not supposed to be represented in that fashion. So we create parallel forces to the police once we attain power. And those parallel forces, they represent our interests. When I say our collectively in this sense, I'm talking about the interest which is in power, not in the present, lest we mistaken again, but generally this is what happens under the All People's Congress regime, no regime, government. This was what happened under the SLPP government prior to the taking of office of the All People's Congress. Of course you had parallel forces, but you go think, see, now just because the war has ended or had ended, or one of the things the way you get for forego because compromise has to be, you know, yeah, met, if you will like. In other words, when you did try to work out the peace, especially so at that time, back in 2005, 2006, and before then, what in the country been to go through, the warrant compromises, the give and take. This is where you find mature politicians and people and we understand what it takes to attain the peace. So for stop the war at the time wasn't the thing because eventually the war was stopped or had to be stopped. But keeping the peace was the priority. And if we understand the we, we nation, it became a basket case. In other words, a case study for peace prevention rather than um, conflict resolution, rather than the um, conflict that will be exist at the time or prior to our own time because a new study or a couple of new studies were commissioned the united nations and other body them how we can prevent these issues from happening so other than managing the peace we need for find a way for 
avoid the things then for happening in the first place. Just like the famous saying, prevention is better than cure. As teaching time saves nine and things like that if you understand the context. So this is what became the order of the time that we need for any way for avoid making the problem in the first place so that we don't have to go down that route. So we country became a basket case. Unfortunately, things are degenerating. And I say this again on evidence. Okay? When you look at what happened a few days ago, remember I'm speaking today. Today is the 9th of February, which is a Saturday late in the evening. And the tip where they refer to when Mikla make this broadcast is about something we a tip webin day na social media. You know, everything now can be doctored. It can be photoshopped. But while they can be photoshopped, some can be more difficult than the others, depending on the eyes where they read them, the minds where they read them. So, for example, a photo can be easily photoshopped and make it difficult, you know, you have to come for understand how is it being photoshopped. But there's a difference in a video, a real-time video, when you Photoshop them and try for edit them and inject other things them just for direct the propaganda or whatever you they try for inject into the minds of the people. As long as people and pay attention, and another subsequent video we get for come up now how people and get for beware of photoshopping. The differences between a still photograph that's photoshopped and that of a video which is being edited heavily edited for saturate. I mean, for project an image, which is not the reality as to what in the initial or original video being try for project. We will therefore do something on that because we people they need for no. Okay? But the thing I want to speak to, ladies and gentlemen, are a recent event involving, waiting me see with my own eyes, um, police, national police, because they dress in the gears of the police, just like riot police. In other words, um, there was some incident we allegedly they may respond to, and um, the people that will be involved allegedly been locked up inside a compound. We, as reported, been sound like picking them, school picking them, or whatever. But the tip is there for everybody for listening and make up their minds, you know, public opinion, get for adjudicate on this. So when we watch the tip, Okay, I'm really concerned because it look really fearful in many respect that I see people away dressed like police. And as far as I know, this has to be the police and I go give me reason why towards the end of this broadcast. Then Tima Bien, I mean, these people are dressed in riot gear, the national police uniform of the Republic of Sierra Leone. Taxpayer them the money we then pay, we then spend for buy uniform for an honorable police for wear with the insignia, the badges and numbers all around them with riot gear helmets and the rest of it. Standing behind in what apparently look like thugs in control. People are working only describe as thugs. That's real thuggery. At the forefront of the execution of an operation that was meant to be led by the police was now being led by thugs. Because clearly in the video, you can see the, the, the thugs them in plain clothes were the one leading the operation, jumping over the fence, trying to break up a lock. Eventually, when they jump over the fence, they managed to break the lock. All along, people were videoing this incident and there were background commentaries. We, upon careful interrogation, we find out, I mean, we can opinionate on exactly, not exactly rather, but render an opinion as to what he may go on. But we don't want to go deep into that. What he more me most, now the police will seem for stand at the background, why people that will appear for look like thugs, they lead an operation from the perspective of the national police. This is a scandal. This is a disgrace. And a commission need for be organized for determine exactly what happened on that day and if now waiting with the think and waiting we see 
why this thing should not happen anymore. Because this they all go well, whether you they green, you they red, you they rainbow, whatever color. And this is not about the politics that I am talking to. I am speaking from a national level in which a police that I have come to believe in, a police force that I have come to respect, a police force that I look up to for justice and keeping the peace, are now involved in that kind of video they want to see. It's disheartening, it's sickening, it's unacceptable, and therefore, I they ask government for get involved, for investigate issues like that, and let reports come out so that people like we waiting at the media, commentators, journalists, so-called journalists, go able for broadcast and tell the truth as to what the reality is out there. But something definitely has to be done. Even the police needs to come up with a statement. And ladies and gentlemen, forgive me, as at press time, I mean as at the time where they speak so now, I'm not aware that the police has addressed this particular issue. And if they haven't, they need to for clarify issues, clear the name. And if they haven't, some other body within the police, okay, suppose for hold the police to task, or body was supposed for hold the police to task, suppose for come out and put out a position statement for let we know exactly what thing happened. I mean, there were a couple of things were happening during that period of time. It might not have been the same day because I've never had time to see a few videos, probably three of them that came out almost simultaneously, but could have happened on different days. But like again, I want to repeat, waiting at the speak to is the video where apparently show um, people in plain clothes at the vanguard of a police, apparently a police operation, jumping over fence, breaking the lock, while people in the fence, inside of the fence, that sound like the voices of very young people were um, complaining, were almost crying, were almost asking for help. And that help did not seem to be coming, but instead what seemed to be coming their way was aggression, was violence. God alone knows how that ended. We don't want for the see sceneries like this, okay, for we country, because some of us are very patriotic enough that whilst we sit down on the other side of the fence, I mean abroad, we look for champion the cause of a country which is um, a civilized country, a decent country, a country that you can talk to, a country that you can look forward to, a country that you can hope in, a country that you can go and establish what you want to establish, be it business and the rest of it, but forget confidence for go and do that. And some of us are the kind of people that are propagating or hoping the, the atmosphere will be conducive enough so that when we speak, those that will listen will be able to have some conditions um, that will satisfy their entry into our country to potentially provide investment and thereby getting our people, most especially the young, to which our population is heavily indebted to, to be employed. So that some of the social problems them we, we experience go go away because when people are gainfully employed or engaged you find out say idleness no day but who then people are constructively trying to forge something in a positive sense which will take them you know yeah, further be it education be it trade vocational and the rest of it but idleness obviously i can say that for free here breeds a negative character and that affects the society that we're living in a social context, then therefore government get a lot for doing this. So government get for try for handling it in there. So messages then when they come out of the country, not to everything the government responsible for. Government is limited and today people are in need for understand this. That governments are limited. Government cannot be at every place every time. We really need for know this. So where people and catch they know some side. If not, uh, uh, if it fall foul of the law, probably Papa government not did it. So the responsibility a border on every one of us. But again, before I divert, let I come back to this incident where I see over tape way make me for produce this broadcast. These people and finally manage to get over the fence, and all you you could hear na chaos. The people away there inside, they, of course, shortly before the people in the jump go inside the fence and broke the door, 
you can feel the panic and the fear as per them voices you know yeah, those that were crying those that were complaining those that were shouting but you know there was a um there was a fear in those voices that were within whereas the aggressor the women they come out from that door where the police day now the background instead of the foreground it's difficult for her to understand exactly what thing happened how can this be how are you going to explain this to the general public to the international community how can people like us who try to champion the civility of we state for persuade people like that it's necessary for them then go in for perform some duties some functions we go create an atmosphere of peace and tranquility so that investor then go also follow and create an atmosphere in which investment direct foreign local will take place and only positiveness will come up from there for create job for we picking them so that all this nonsense we will hear about gang about toggery and the rest of it go just you know yeah fall out somewhere else and once again we go rise up as a people as a country not exactly as we were because we treated we still try for consolidate the gains Ladies and gentlemen, this I speak directly to the director of police. Sir, if you are listening, I'm appealing to you. You need for set up a commission or an inquiry board, because sometimes we get fatigued now with commission because there's a lot of um, commission word being thrown around there. But some kind of an inquiry into waiting happened. That picture day, any side way they show them, that condemnation for we, nobody, not including your own citizens, not the outside world, foreigners, not those of us that have got foreign friends that we talk to and try to convince them, will ever be convinced, offend any language for understand where we could speak to them, in terms of that video they will come out, where the national police, team up and thugs people the way they behave no different from thugs looking at the scenario and not say i don't get this talk with a couple of people then where they try for explain for sanitize the situation where happened but you can't get away with that because we see them in live in real time video we see waiting happen we're not able to give you the full story 99 percent but whichever is the worst case scenario Say the people and inside the way we not see by the way, cause now that I don't hear from few people and we want back waiting happen. I don't know how I can back waiting happen, but waiting we see, it's just not possible. I try for tell friends, you know, because myself can look at wild theories. What if, but then conjunction and they just for try for create a narrative either for provoke an argument or for address issues. But no, it's not. It's not just possible. Though we not see what thing happen, but let we provoke the extreme case. Say people let me take stone and stone the policeman them, because now the worst case that they I can see or attack the policeman them, and then run away from the police because the police manage for rehog, okay. They manage for fend them balance, and then from the offensive, I mean from the defensive, they went offensive, but where they go offensive. Now people that will not belong now your society, now the institution, and then they go put before for go on the offensive. How can you justify that? It's almost like the American system in which the law is clear. You don't shoot a person who is running away from you. In other words, you don't shoot a man in the back. And I think say then they get international appeal. The world over. Somebody not go to run from you, then you go attack him. Much more you get gone and then you shoot them where the person they run. That's cold blooded murder. Although they're not fair away, you know, now the United States forget lawyers them, especially when you involve one group of people for defend them and in the end, somebody where they run away from you, you kill them, and then you get scot free. You fend an argument, you pay a good lawyer and you people and rally around you and the system itself, what they call democracy, where in many respects very corrupt nor they give equal opportunity to in people that were supposed to belong to the state but then the american problem but it's almost like the equivalent saying so you want justify now as alone say but them in a stone we or they attack we 
then take all kind thing you know here yeah, and throw them at us we're not supposed to happen which if that that's the case we agree with but the response heavy-handed than a one two the method way you use but this not for happen bro under no condition so to the police the chief are they appeal to you and if nothing is done we will take this appeal to government because government need for speak out this is quite quite important to the government that if the police cannot handle it because i'm sure the police can handle it i want to pass a quiet word to the police look you need for set up something for look into waiting happen there are other videos that emerge as well which we will speak to but now this particular one i want to speak to because the images from this particular video will come out with and show these people they jump over a fence for broke the mouth for let police go inside it's quite quite disturbing for everybody both citizens and foreigners with international partners and the rest of it so slp you have to come out with a position statement you have to launch an inquiry into waiting happen why it happened and why it should not happen anymore you get the resources and the wherewithal for deal with situations such as that from what we see nobody was shooting at you nobody was throwing stones at you <laughs> this is not the irony of it but yet you decide for respond in that sense so waiting happen after but of course this tape has to end and all that they do are they appeal to you you need for try and this is the police for clean up that image you really really need for try for clean up that image we were beginning to try after the consolidation of the i mean during the consolidation of the peace the end of the war we know say pakaba bring in um how you call them um even a foreign ig where some of us you know yeah we complain about and the complaint was purely on the basis of patriotism don't we have qualified enough people don't we have people of integrity don't we have Sierra Leoneans of integrity who can actually do this work? But this was beyond us. The comprehension was beyond us. There was something else going on. Later on, we've come to understand it because we are now privy to information, intelligence, those that were kept from us, those that we never knew, those who were not supposed to know. Somehow we've come to be okron to these um, um, privileged conversations. So we now understand. So gains were made from that point on. But it's consolidating these gains, which is important. But the trend seems to be reversing with actions, with actions rather, which we saw quite recently. And there are a couple of them, like I said, and we'll try to speak to them. But this is not the particular one we will address. SLP, you need for really watch this. You really need for come out and say something for assure the general public that this is not our nature, this is not part of us and let me get some explanation so we go move on we can't move on you can't sweep this under the carpet and you'll be losing credibility and this is why like i say from the beginning that every time when government change hands there are repercussions there are retributions but none other but the police because the people no longer see you as a friend of theirs they no longer see justice through your prison through your eyes through your actions that is why it's important for us to start building that kind of relationship. Police, people, relationship vis-a-vis -vis people, um, police, people, people and police. So until then, we will wait, but we get a couple of broadcasts and they come out soon. I thank you very much for listening. For all of you, I am your host and presenter, Prince Emil Kroma, on behalf of the channel Then and Now Media Empire. Thank you very much and good night.